want you, I want you to imagine this. I want you all to imagine right now a six foot two Jamaican gentleman, staunch in Christian faith, stood in a mosque with the congregation, gathering to pay their last respects to a man who lived, loved, and cared for his three daughters in a country he migrated to with only a few pennies in his pocket. Why is this moment so significant for me? And why does it matter so much? Growing up in the 80s, my father chose to live in Moss Side. To our left lived Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They were our neighbours. They were actually more than our neighbours. They were our family. Today, 40 odd years later, they still are. We would sit on the steps, blast music, and some Sundays even join them at church. We were family and we were one. What's the relevance today and why am I telling you this? I want you to imagine Mr. Rogers standing amongst a congregation of men. He stands out not only because of his height, but because everybody else there is of Asian origin and mostly shorter than his towering frame. His hand is placed over his heart and his eyes look around at the sadness that drenches the room. And he says, 18 years ago, tomorrow on the 4th of July, on this occasion, he returned that love. He was attending my father's funeral. There was a reason for emotion. His voice, his voice filled with emotion. He raised his hands and he said, show me how to pray. In the middle of a mosque, he said, show me how you pray and proceeded to join in the funeral prayer in the mosque for my dad, just like the many times we had visited the church on the corner, sat in the pews, sang hymns, and joined our hands in prayer. Mr. Rogers was not a Muslim man. We were not a Christian family. For decades, we were more than neighbors. Why is it so touching that he crossed his faith boundary in the name of friendship? This was the sincerity, the love, the compassion that man shared with my father and wanted to repay by praying with us. And why do I share this story with you? The idea of race and equality is often centered on regulations, legislation, and rules. My father and Mr. Rogers didn't have rules. They shared love and human connection that transcended color, race, creed, background, and heritage. There were no consequences for them to fear, and there were no barriers to their unity. Their driving force was humanity, love and respect.